Now we have created these three years over here as you can see. However, if you see the model that we are trying to attempt, we see that they are at the very end of the cylinder. One is over here and another one is over here. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to move this, all these three years at the very end over here as well as over here. Let's go back to our original drawing. Over here, you can see that the very end of this year from the center is 112.5. The total thickness of the year is 32. So the thickness or the distance all the way to the center of the cylinder over here would be 112 minus 32 plus 16. So that would come about 96.5. I'll have to move the center of this year 96.5 all the way to the end so that the ears go to the very end of the cylinder. To do this, type Ctrl T on your keyboard. The move object window will pop up. In that, go to select object and select the three ears that we are trying to move. Specify the vector. Select this arrow over here. So it will move this direction over here. Put the distance as 96.5. Make sure you enter the copy original button and hit OK. Thus you have moved the ears all the way to the very end. Similarly, move the three ears to the opposite side. Press Ctrl T. Select 1, 2 and 3. Specify vector. Select this and then swap it. So it will come to the other end. Make sure copy original button is selected and hit OK. Now you can see that I have the ears at the very end of the cylinder. But there are these ears in the center of the cylinder as well. I need to get rid of these ears. So what I'll have to do is just right click over here on the extrude and click hide. All those three ears will be hidden. Similarly, select the sketch over here, hide. Now you can see that the ears are at the very end of the cylinder just the way I wanted them. Now the ears are okay. We have done all the six ears over here. Now we'll have to create this feature over here. This circle which is 200 millimeter, then another circle which is 100 millimeter, another circle which is 56.2 millimeter in diameter. Go to the datum CSYS and it will automatically come in the center of the cylinder. Hit OK. Now as you can see, this part over here, this circular part of 200 millimeter is exactly opposite to one of the ears over here. So let's make the part over here in this direction opposite to this ear. Go to datum plane and create a datum plane over here. If you go to the drawing, you can see that this part over here is 160 millimeter away from the center. So I'll have to move the part all the way to 160 millimeter. In this case, it's in the negative x direction. So I'll have to use a negative sign. Minus 160. Hit enter. So now I've created the datum plane on which I want to create the cylinder. Again, go to sketch and select this plane over here. Hit OK. Now you can see that plane selected as your sketchboard. Go to circle, select the center and put the diameter as 200 millimeter. Hit OK, close and finish sketch. You will be able to see the circle over here. Go to extrude, select curve. In this, select until selected. Select this surface over here. And make sure you select the boolean unite. Hit OK. Now you can see that we have created the cylinder. 